cook show number 30. So we're really proud, uh, very happy. And we have special guests, as you saw. You know, we have Jody and Joe with us. <laughs> something very Mediterranean today. We're going to do couscous, which is a special, very quick kind of pasta. Very nice and fresh, very nice. And then uh, we're going to do some chicken. We've got these beautiful chicken strips. And then we're going to do a cucumber salad with this very summery everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. For the ingredients today, we're going to have a cucumber salad along with uh, the rest of the food. So we need to use cucumbers and sour cream and balsamic vinaigrette, the white one. You know, that's what I like to put in. And uh, a few, a little bit of salt and a few, maybe a few herbs. We'll see what we're going to do. Then we need for the couscous, we need, um, there's all kinds of vegetables that you can put into a couscous um, because you sort of mix it into the pasta. Uh, and we don't cook it, so we eat the vegetables raw, some, some uh, spring onions, garlic, a uh, little bit of uh, cherry tomatoes, we have a, a zucchini here and two pe bell peppers. And of course the couscous and some vegetable stock. Yes. And then we have some chicken. We have about two pounds of uh, uh, tenderloins, the chicken tenderloins. And for the couscous also we have about a whole bunch of parsley, about a half a bunch of cilantro, and a couple of, of sprigs of fresh mint. That's very, very important. To fix the chicken, we also use a little bit of onion, uh, Dijon mustard, and some lemon juice. The lemon juice is also going to go into the couscous, so yes. we're, going to, we're going to use that. That's pretty much it for the, for the ingredients. Absolutely. Let's put these boys to work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joel, first yes, we need yes. this one here. Okay. They cut into little cubes, about uh, two millimeters or two millimeters big. big. Well, that's you that's little. Do you have yes, it's like two or three millimeters. It's which is, you know, um, yeah, it's very small. You know, Nino's it's, gonna it's called, help me here. In yeah. French, they call that Juliette. Ah, no, yes, okay. All, all it means is small. Okay. You know, that's all it means, small, it's fine, okay. finely mm -hmm. cut, you know, that's all So it means. don't cut them Romeo, cut them Juliette. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. Uh, that okay. would be good for you. You stay occupied with that. Who <laughs> <laughs> is going to cut some? Uh, uh, cut the cilantro and the, uh, and the parsley. And the parsley. And the nice thing with the parsley is that if you keep the stems on the parsley, there's a lot of flavor in the stems, you know. Well, yeah, I, I just cut off the... The, the rough ends, you know, the, the wet's wet's kind of dry. Yes. I just I just leave that away. And then I brought a chainsaw. What can I do? <laughs> You're gonna get the peeler and the cucumber, and you can give me one of the cucumbers, and you can just sling it in. So so we can just peel the cucumbers, please. Okay. And, uh, so here we are. Instead of playing music, we're cooking something together. It's beautiful that you guys came here today. Yes, I'm very happy that it worked out. Who <laughs> yeah. used to say the band that eats together beats together? <laughs> you know? Does it hurt if I get a little bit of my finger on this cut? Well, right, just if you, you know, as long as the blood is red, we're good. Okay. Yeah, it's about that size. 
Yeah, that looks good. Okay. It looks, looks too rough, Joel. Well, the, well, the easiest way to do it, Joel, is actually make some, make some, um, make, some make yeah, slices, slices like that. What's yeah. your metric ruler for the millimeter you're using? Well, right. I mean, slicing this way and then... Yes, yeah, yeah, so you could also take a big knife and just, you know, just go like that. And make it right off. Let's go. You want to do it? Sure. Like that. Okay. okay. And then just make little, yeah. Oh, you can scrape. Take one more, but you don't like that. Okay. You know? And then uh, you could just do the same thing like that, yep. and then you just cut, and then you cut this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You cut the ends off, right? stuff aside. Your souvenir for the cooking show. And now, uh, Jody, what you can do is you hold it, you hold the cucumber, and you curl your fingers in, you hold like that, and then you put your knife against your, your head. Your yeah. head. Mm -hmm. And what you do is now, you can just go like this, and just move very slowly backwards. Oh, see? Yeah. All, it's all, it's all you gotta do. They need to be that thin. Yeah, they need to be very thin. Okay. And all you have to do is just move at the same pace backwards. I have a little bit of change on that. <laughs> For you, it should be no problem at all. It's the thick, it's the thick. Well, yeah, thing. I'm making it thin. Yeah. You're a good one. I'm not going to go that fast. He's got 29 shows ahead of you, then. No, they didn't make cucumber salad in that was eating a lot, don't you? You guys do love it. I just cut the ends of the green onions and I before you know we, we present presented it over, over there. I just cut off some of these uh, you know if they turn a little brown or anything. And then I just I just cut them up. Same way as I did the cucumber. Fire up the grill soon. Um, 
Oh my god. Uh, you could just hold it here. That would be great. And that would be just, just that one. Yeah, that quarter. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, And now that I got a little bit of the the parsley and cilantro in the chicken, I'm gonna add the mint now to the mix too. So chopping the mint up. The mint smells great, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, yeah. It's just one of those wonderful additions to the kitchen. I've got two different mints growing in my garden. Like the big pots anywhere in my garden. Yeah. Spear and pepper. Spear and pepper, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This mint is also from around my house. Nice. My dogs like to pee on. <laughs> no. Help them grow. Help them grow. This is easier when you guys help. <laughs> they have machines that they use. Huh? But they have machines that they use. Yeah, but it takes longer to clean the machine than oh, like that. Right. <laughs> Not the the, 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 the machines are really they're, they're wonderful, but only if you really so with the garlic with people. the garlic, all you have to do is cut the back of the garlic off, and then you just take a knife. And smash it. No, 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 you can just crush it. Oh, yeah. You don't have to smash it. And then you just hold it in the end and it just comes right out like that. Uh, but you just need to cut this little part off and then crush it, you know. And then it just sort of just fall, folds out. Wonderful. Do you want the garlic finely minced or? Yes, Corey, why don't you, why don't you cut it up? That would be great. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. What I can do now, I have all these this beautiful vegetables cut up, and I can just sort of uh, almost like pre-cook them, you know, with, uh, with lemon. Uh, this thing, the lemons were too big for this. <laughs> Also add some olive oil. That's how you do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think your garlic is minced. That's great, Joel. Alright. Would you like it? Right in here. On its way. I don't need much salt. Mm -hmm. yeah, there, there's a lot of salt. Yeah, sure. in the, mm -hmm. But uh, we, we take that later, you know. We, we can, yeah. you know. The nice thing about couscous is that you don't need a, a stove to actually cook it. No. Um, you know, if the water would be hot and all, uh, if you have some hot water, 
Mm -hmm. You can just put it in, into the couscous and let's just let the couscous soak. You don't need to cook the vegetables actually, you just put them in there as a salad. And, uh, and, and it just, it just, just absorbs yeah. and expands. And what we're going to cook, of course, you're going to take you boil the water. What do I do with this pepper? Let's put it in here. That'd be great. Put it in yonder. Very good. So, just to, if, if, if you scrape something off your board, would you not have to use the back of your knife? You, okay. Uh, otherwise, you ruin your. Do you dull it? You dull it, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's just a, just a simple thing. Yeah. Mm. Nice and colorful. I like that. Pretty strong. <laughs> Let's clean up a little bit. Let's clean up a little bit. Which means you clean up, I play. <laughs> <laughs> you clean up, I play. I said it before, but I love this thing here. This little griddle top. It really is amazing. I love this. Because otherwise, if I marinate the chicken and, you know, I have um, some oil on there, it always drips down to the flame, starts burning. And that's one way, you know. I mean, if you if you then just sort of grill it and just let it, you know, if you, if you have a marinade that's not drippy, that, that's fine. And here I can really control also the heat very well over the surface. So it's really nice to have a little top like that. It's very inexpensive actually. It's cool. And I don't have to clean the entire grill every time.
like the snare. It's, yeah, I should have an image like that. <laughs> there is no yeah. sound yeah. snare. Be less loud. It's a homeopathic banjo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a homeopathic drum set. There, yeah. That's cool. It's, 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 it's really just the. Yeah. Essence. The essence of drum. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. It's meant for practicing brushwork. That's what it's for. So you have all of your thing. I'm so glad that you guys are here. There's so many songs that we have that we can't do when you. When you <laughs> and and uh, you know, when Jens and I, when we do this, it's the two of us, we stick to the more traditional stuff and we can't do the stuff that we rehearsed as a band. Yeah. So. Yeah. This is cool. Yeah.
figure out how to do this stuff, couldn't we? Yeah. Make <laughs> couscous. Couscous. I start with uh, what's three cups of stock, um, a mild vegetable stock. We're just going to bring this to a boil. And then we're going to add the couscous. This is also three cups, right, Jens? This is three cups of couscous, uh -huh. yes. And then it's almost done. The cucumber salad, I'm just going to add this. It's about two cups of sour cream. Yeah, something like that. Plenty. Just a little sour cream. Mm -hmm. And how much, how much balsamic do you Well, actually, in? I just go by feel. I just put some in here. Mm -hmm. and, and, then also, and we also put some uh, uh, herb, salt. Herb, herb salt that we always Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Always the bubble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How are we doing for the, for the garlic? Do you want mm -hmm. to put it in the uh, in the garlic press, right? Yep. Yeah. Ready? Sorry, I'm yes. peeling. One note at a time. In the press, and not too, not too careful. Yeah, it's. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I'll put this in here too. Yes, yeah, wonderful. Mm, great. So, this is. Uh, cool. And it really doesn't doesn't need any more anything more. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's stop doing it. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Oh, who's uh, Is it boiling yet? Oh. This goes so quick, such a quick recipe. Because we have all this olive oil in the dishes, you know, but just adding just a tad butter to the to the to the either water or stock for the couscous adds an amazing amount of flavor. So <laughs> And now we just add the couscous. Make sure that it's everywhere. Put it aside and just forget about it. Put the chicken on the griddle. That should be it. <laughs> This is Jens' method. <laughs> he said he didn't have a method. Didn't have a method. Well, there's a... <laughs> come here, come here. Come here, buddy. Come here, come here. Oh, something good on the grill. Something good on the grill. Stuff happens to fall. Yeah, what you, did you just say? I said you've got, you've had your apron on inside out the whole time. Nobody told me. You didn't tell me. <laughs> I just know. That's what mirrors are for. Mirrors. Mirrors. But it doesn't matter oh. because the U. The U actually stays pretty much the same. The same it's like the letter O also. Actually, it almost looks the same. I wouldn't have known if you didn't tell me. But I have the pockets inside. I have the secret pockets. <laughs> I, I wondered where my pockets were actually at one point. Wow, it doesn't have any pockets. Now we're ready actually to, to mix the couscous. See, as it, it's, it's quite, it's all soaked, it's all soaked up. But now you have to, I'm gonna put it in this bowl. And what I have to do is now, Fluff it up. So just take a fork and just go through it like this. Fluff it up. Because it all sticks together a little bit. See, three cups is a huge amount of couscous. 
And of course, you know, this is gonna, this is not just one meal we're making here for, you know, we have some spare meal. So then we can take all this uh, beautiful, the vegetables we cut out with the mint and, uh, and the cilantro and uh, uh, the parsley. Lemon juice. Gonna just have to mix it up. <laughs> See how these vegetables just disappear into the couscous day. It doesn't seem like it's a it's a lot, you know. This is a real Mediterranean dish. Let me try it. Mmm, it's really good. Mmm. Wow, I I wish you could taste this. But now, um, this is good olive oil. And I have two different kinds of olive oil. I have an olive oil that is really cold pressed and really has has more taste. It's not good for heating up because you would burn all the, the little things that are still in the oil because it's not so filtered. And Well, it is filtered, but it's, it's really more rough. But it tastes really good. So I use it for salads and cold things. Now, it's very healthy. So I can put a little bit more of the olive oil in, into here. And then I use a lighter olive oil for heating up. And the, the lighter olive oil, um, olive oil stays together really well when it's, when it's actually hot, you know. But only the lighter one, not, not, not the dark one. I think this is, this is perfect. Oh, look at this. Isn't that nice? Mm. Makes me happy. So the chicken is good. I, you see, it's not overly grilled, but I think it's, I think it's good. It looks good. You know, yeah, it looks good. You've got a hungry crew over here. These, uh, these little fillets, they, they're great because yeah, they're, they're pretty much quick. five minutes on each side and they're done. They're not easy. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's good. Chicken tenders. Chicken tenders all natural. Tender. 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 Yes, uh, yes, uh. Nice. That's nice. Tender. It's a nice tender. So with the the cucumber salad actually serves two purposes. One, it's not only you see that we put a, we put a lot of sour cream in. Yes. And but it's part of the sour the sour cream is part of that sauce that goes with the chicken you see yeah. so that's why it gets together now you don't like cucumber and I forgot okay, about I'll, it I'll, I'll you do can it. you can pick some up. it's fine it'll be fine I, I'm not gonna complain at all about whatever's on this table I'm gonna have so a, this I time finish. around you know we're gonna let you two Try. taste yeah. ah. and we'll, we'll see how you taste Joe would you do me the favor and sit over here next to Joe, next to Joe. now a disclaimer I'm not eating the cucumber salad because that's sour cream. I don't eat sour cream at all, but yes. it's okay. Well, oh, gee, he's picky like me. I will act like I did, and I will say it was <laughs> yummy. Okay. The, the big, the big reveal, the big taste test. <laughs> oh, this doesn't work. <laughs> you gotta start over. Okay, here uh, comes the big, Ellie? the big reveal, the big taste test. You ready? It's really good. Mmm. <laughs> it's got a kick no, to it. It's delicious. Oh, good. <laughs> his face is red. Nino mm. is, has his head resting in my lap again. He's wanting some food. He knows where it is. Oh, like Nino's nose, nose. <laughs> and the couscous mm. is very good. Couscous is to perfection. And even though I'm not a big cucumber fan, I'm going to do the. Oh, that's the first. In 30 years, that's the first time I see Joel eat a mm, cucumber. Wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. And he's not threatened. No, no, no there's... Uh, I put my knives away. Guy, yeah. <laughs> and how do we say Swiss German? And gut to mitten Sure. And gut to mitten Very close. Mitten with an M. Mitten Mit Mitten on, yep. And gut to mitten Everybody together. Mitten on. Mitten on. I'm hungry. I want to have some of that couscous.
Yes. And so the cucumber salad. But the nice thing is, Uwe, we've done it. Melissa, we've done it 30, 30, 30, shows. 30, 30 shows. And we thought we got to stop at 30 shows, you know. Uh, One month's worth of menus. Yes, and we thought, well, we stopped. But we had so many people come up to us and say, whatever you do, don't stop with the cook show. And so... Um, we're going to turn our studio down there into a kitchen, kitchen. <laughs> big kitchen, and make a restaurant out of it. And we, we have Jody and um, Joel now as yeah. assistants. You know. I'll be the maitre d'. Yeah. 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 I'll yeah. be the bouncer. Yeah. The bouncer, okay. Yes. We'll see you again on Friday for, yes. uh, on, for our shows. And, uh, and of course, later this afternoon, we're going to be down in Wilkesboro uh, yes. playing, playing uh, in the Commons again. The last 4th of July was a huge party. I mean, we we'll had see a great if the weather day. holds up. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen. Yeah. All right. You all take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. So, the question is... Is he or isn't he? And I'm here to reveal at the very end of our show, I'm afraid, for all of you watching, I am. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite a show, Joel. There you go. There you go. There you have it. That's, that's going to become a weekly uh, segment, I guess. Is Joel wearing pants? This was great, you know, having Joel and Dodie here uh, for our 30th show, really. Um, yeah, it's, it's been an amazing time, you know, now we, we just missed two weeks in the 30 shows. So we started 32 weeks ago and we had the idea last November, October, uh, October and then, you know, when Switzerland we came back, started the cook show, and we didn't know how to really pull it off, you know, it was, uh, uh, we didn't know how to, how to do it, and uh, we, we knew that we had some menus that we want to share, but Melissa, you know, she had to find her way around with holding the camera, and we were quite chaotic, you know, going around, actually, we still are, we yeah. still are, <laughs> but it was actually even more chaotic, but Melissa just says, you know, you did such a great job, you know, and, and and Uwe always, you know, after the show, goes home and he puts it together and he writes the funniest little credits and, and things that he all of a sudden came up with. And uh, and so for us, it was just an additional day in the week that we would spend, you know, go shopping, talk about the menu and, you know, get everything ready in here, um, get get the kitchen ready, get everything, uh, you know, in order. And for us, you know, it's been just, uh, it's been an amazing journey because, you know, Uwe and me, we have played music together but never really cooked that much together, you know, because either, you know, we would do something or I would do something, but really being together in the kitchen, we have never really done that that much. And, and it, uh, well, it also took some time for us to get used to, you know, of what we do and how we do things. And, um, but it's, it's been a lot of fun so far, you know, so. And, and this is a nice celebration. So I want to thank you, Melissa. I want to thank you, Uwe, you know, to, uh, he's such an amazing brother to me, you know, helping with all these crazy ideas. Um, and of course, you know, uh, you are watching uh, uh, because, you know, I, I said it before, but there's so many people coming up on these few shows that we had and they, they come to me and say, whatever you do, don't stop doing the cook show. And, you know, I had, you know, Greg Deering, you know, write letters and I get lots of emails from people saying, don't ever want you to do it. This is really special. We love that more than anything. Our friend Lodi from Germany. I mean, they all watch it multiple times. And some people call me up and say, I'm just cooking. And I'm not cooking what you're cooking, but you're still on. You know, I mean, I just want to see you cook. I just want to be part of that. So thank you so much. I think we have a little tune about a wild boar. Yeah. Um, that used yeah, to live. Really so what's that on the it's menu? Called, it's called the Tasty Pig. <laughs> <laughs> the only kosher pig song we have. <laughs>
turn my apron around, but now my brain's the other way. <laughs> I cry when you pass me by.